Now the next one we're going to go over, as we've obviously already done our C, we're going to go to gains. Now what gains are is how stable and how reactive the model is to your input control. Now uh, what I've done is I've kind of sort of gleaned the internet and databases for the best gains. So the, this set of gains that I've got, I'm going to program in just now, are the ones that we use on the 450. They work quite well on the 550 as well, but they're simply a starting point and you can uh, mess about with these gains to get the model to fly exactly how you want it. But the gains, the way that they work is your basic gains, that's the top ones along here, that's all your different directions. So pitching basically means when the model's flying, if the red legs are the front pitching, it's forward and backwards. Rolling is obviously sideways. Yaw is the twisting action. And then vertical is actually up and down. So, the basic gains are, is how stable it is when it's hovering, when you are not controlling it. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean the higher the gain, the better it will fly, because sometimes we can become a bit too locked on and a little bit too um, sensitive and you can get a lot of wobble problems. Also, um, another one to watch out for is um, if you have a high basic gain, your attitude gain tends to be a bit lower. They, they almost balance each other like a sort of seesaw. So the gains I'm going to put in just now, as I say, these are the ones that I've kind of gleaned on the net um, and building a lot of models and test flying them. These are the ones I feel are a very good starting point. So there's one, oops, get that wrong. It's 165 for pitch, 165 for roll, then 150, then 150. And then your attitude gains. Now the attitude gains, what they're for is, is how the model reacts to your actual input on the controller. So I have these down at 100. These are very good for starting. If you're new to it, you don't want to be over controlling it. They're also very good for doing aerial photography. Um, now, as you see, they're all red. So we've put them all in. I'm gonna press return and then they all go black and that's them written in. Now you'll also notice these little drop down here. This is a little bit of an advanced setting. What this is, is if you want to sort of muck about with your gains, um, a handy way to do it, as you can imagine, it would be very awkward to every time you made a gain, you'd have to land the model, plug into your computer, make an adjustment, fly it, land it, plug into your computer. So what these are, these are remote gain adjustments. So for example, your X1 channel on your radio, which as you know is a trimmer here. Now this could be like a trimmer knob on a, another aftermarket radio. And what you can do is you can actually assign a channel to basically act as a, a gain adjustment. So as you can see there, I'm now moving the lever and see the gains moving. Now they're moving a huge amount. You should actually you you still need move your gains by about 10% at a time. So the idea is, is as you fly, you can adjust the gain, get it exactly where you want it, and then basically lock it down. And you can do that on both your uh, remote gains, so you would just basically do all these down at say one, for example. So you do all your, your pitch and roll first, then go and do your yawn vertical, and then do your attitude gains. And then when you're happy where they are, you just inhibit those controls. So I'm gonna just put that back to one, Six five because that is pretty much where I set all mine up and they work pretty damn well.